Waveform uh, only surpassed by Liverpool in the Premier League, but at home, well, they've been feeling blue, haven't they? Last four home games, three resulting in defeats, all of them to teams you would perhaps expect them to beat. Talking about their recent home struggles, this was Frank Lampard. But we need to take our chances in home games. And I need to be pretty firm about that because it's easy to say it's unlucky, whatever, and, you know, uh, ball doesn't drop to us, crossing the box gets cleared away shot within the box that goes off target we have to get that right and we work on that in training but there's an element of it that is element of it that is instinct um, and we need to find that killer instinct in front of goal because in terms of play we're controlling big parts of games but we're allowing teams to stay in them it is a peculiar one Craig them lost three in a row at home in the, in the top flight in England since well you might remember it 1994 <laughs> Mm. One Mr. Burley well, I remember, was in the school. Mm. <laughs> I remember there were. That's, a, that's some record. <laughs> I remember there were more difficult times. <laughs> there were more difficult times. But what do you put then. it down to at the moment? They struggle, given that they're so good away from home. Yeah, I think in some sense what he said there is correct. They've, they've created lots of chances, and mm. but they haven't always taken them, and they've allowed teams to get back into the games. Uh, they haven't killed teams off. Uh, they've got a lack of options and had a lack of options in that area. They are where they are in the league. I think. They are where they're expected to be, there or thereabouts. In many sense, they've been ahead of the curve with the problems that they had, the squad that they had, and the transfer ban, and a, an inexperienced manager. They've, they've actually been OK. And I think he's just frustrated that they could have been in a better position. Uh, they might go out in January and mm. spend some money now that the, the ban is lifted. But as he said himself, you can't feel sorry for yourself. You've got to kill teams off. He's chopped and changed between a back three and a back four of late. The Arsenal game wasn't working for him. He made a change quite early on. Uh, so he's not been frightened to make big decisions. And But but that will be the key between him getting in the, the top four or not. There's talk about Giroud going and maybe mm. one or two others. So it's a big January for him in terms of how the squad looks come the end of the month and the end of the transfer window. Robert, what do you make of their home struggles at Stamford Bridge? Frank Lampard was absolutely right in what he was saying. You know, they controlled big parts of the game. I was at the West Ham game where they dominated West Ham for long periods. They dominated in midfield. But that final cross, that final pass, final shot wasn't quite good enough. David Martin, who made a mistake for West Ham today against uh, Sheffield United, had an inspired day on his Premier League debut at the age of 31 or whatever he was. Um, and, but he says it can be instinct. You can work on it in training, but the players have to, uh, to, to deliver on the day. And they haven't done that at home this, uh, in the last four or five games. OK, you mentioned 50 chances and zero goals in those three defeats, didn't they? Uh, the uh, bookies like their chances, though, against Burnley. have really been having their struggles of late. Shaka, 9-1 uh, to one on Burnley to win. Chelsea won 4-2 at Turf Moor earlier in the uh, year. Uh, listen, uh, as a betting man, 9-1 to was it's odds hard to, hard to ignore. But I think Craig's record remains intact. <laughs> it's not going to be another three games in a row. 1994. I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> yes. I want to know which teams you lost the three in a row to. And whether you were in the team for all of them. But uh, our, YouTube, uh, web scrape, uh, our YouTube website, I should say, is the place to uh, catch up on all the ESPN FC activity. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.